Festival of Colors by Kabir and Sorishta Segal and illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Festival of Colors. Guavas are ripening, lotuses are blooming, and Holi, the Indian Festival of Colors, is almost here. Chintu and Mintu are getting ready. Holi hey, holi hey, they whisper. They gather hibiscus flowers because hibiscus flowers make red. They gather orchids because orchids make purple. They gather marigolds because marigolds make orange. They gather irises because irises make blue. Then they lay the flowers out to dry. Then they separate the petals. And then they press the petals into fine powders. At last, the petal powders are ready. Chintu and Mintu are ready too. And so are their parents. and their friends, and their neighbors, and then poof, purple pops, poof, red bursts, poof, orange erupts, poof, blue splashes, poof, 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 poof. Holy hey, holy hey, holy hey, everyone shouts. Holy is a festival of fresh starts and friendship and forgiveness. But for Chintu and Mintu, it's also a festival of fun. A note from the authors. Holi is the Indian festival of colors celebrated during spring when new colors appear in nature. It symbolizes inclusiveness, new beginnings, and the triumph of good over evil. The festivities begin with an evening bonfire. The next morning, family, friends, and neighbors throw dry and wet colored powders on each other. People chant, Holi Hey, which is pronounced Holi Hey, and means it's holy. Traditionally, the powders were made at home using flowers. Families and friends gathered, dried, and ground the petals into fine flat powders, which were mixed with water to make brilliant colors. Now, most people buy pre-made powders from the local bazaar or even online. There is plenty of singing, dancing, and feasting during the festivities. And with everyone covered in vibrant colors, there is tremendous feeling of community. Maybe you could go for a walk in your neighborhood and see what color the flowers are which are blooming near you.